Aloha and welcome to the 2023 Honolulu Pride Parade. This year's theme, Rooted in Pride Homecoming, honoring our queer ancestors as well as welcoming back some very special people back to the islands. Honolulu Pride is a project of love by the, Honol by the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. My name is Max Rodriguez, part of the Foundation's Board of Directors, and I'm so excited to be here hosting with my colleague and very good friend, Justin Cruz. I am excited as you are, Max. This is a very special day, a very special event, long time in the planning process. In fact, ever since the conclusion of last year's Pride Parade, the planning for this year has already started, and here we are. Let's talk about the parade route. For those that are familiar, maybe from Hawaii, but maybe those that are watching online or from different parts of uh, the United States and across the world, tell us about the parade route, because we're going from one beautiful, legendary beach park to another. Absolutely. So it starts in Magic Island. That's mm -hmm. where all of the groups are gathering there from early in the morning. And can you believe that many of them actually put their floats together there and then? They do a lot of prep ahead of time, but really go time is 4 a.m. Hundreds of people, hundreds of volunteers all waking up early, so excited. And you can imagine the energy. They start there, they go into Alamoana Boulevard, and then they go into Kalakaua Avenue, uh, pass through Waikiki. That's where Hundreds of people are going to be down the parade route, and it ends in the majestic Waikiki shell. That's where the festival will be taking place later this afternoon. I got to tell you, I am biased, but I <laughs> truly believe this is the most beautiful parade route that you can actually have. It goes by the beach from one beautiful beach park to another, in through the major visitor uh, portions of Waikiki along legendary Kalakaua Avenue. It's such a beautiful parade route. And I, I have to mention this, Max, because I'm a weather guy, right? right. <laughs> Today's weather is just about perfect. We don't have any rain in the vicinity or over Waikiki, so we're not going to be worried about that. We've got a lot of sunshine. I would say um, if you are on the parade route and you're looking at Hawaiian Airlines right now from earlier as they are one of the first uh, floats and folks to really walk the parade route. I think the best thing you need for today is just bring your positive attitude, bring your good sense of energy and humor and a lot of sunblock because it is hot <laughs> out there. Absolutely. And the Hawaiian Airlines, they're one of the biggest groups participating in this parade. They're about 300 of employees, friends, and families, and volunteers all joining, and they have been long-standing supporters of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, so they really appreciate and support many of our community members out here, the LGBTQ+, MVP, FAF communities out there. And as you said, they have one of the largest contingents of people and floats uh, in the Pride Parade this year. Also, earlier, before them, we had Mahui, if um, just briefly, if you could just give us some background on Mahui. Absolutely. So they're a very special, important group uh, for the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. The Mahui guided uh, the foundation, uh, leading this year's procession, emphasizing the values and contributions of indigenous people across the Pacific. And earlier this month, actually October 1st, I had the honor of joining them in a sunrise ceremony. Uh, they wow. there started Pride Month, kicked off, and they honored our past ancestors and really welcomed this this beautiful, good energy of love and peace for everyone. It just really set the tone uh, for this month of events. And there's a lot of emphasis this year on that heritage, that culture, our kapuna, our elders that came before us. Also, uh, if you caught the broadcast at the beginning, uh, we also had very special contingency group of motorcycle riders. <laughs> Tell us about that. That's right. That was the Rainbow Riders Motorcycle Contingency. Uh, that's the Dikes on Bikes, and they usually do begin right bef after the Mahui. Mm -hmm. They start the parade, and they are known to guide the parades of pride around the country. So they are well known throughout the country, and, and we're so happy that they're here. Uh, we are definitely happy that they are here. We also have a crew that is kind of on the scene Boots on the ground. We have Mikey Moniz, which we'll check in a little bit later, but also Bridget Namata, who's looking stunning this morning, <laughs> along with her co host, Kamaka Pili, in pink. And apparently, he doesn't like wearing slim jeans, but today <laughs> he's wearing slim jeans. We'll send it over to Bridget and Kamaka. Good morning. 
Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for that, Justin. <laughs> As you can tell from our uncoordinated dancing here, we are having so much fun in Waikiki, fronting the Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel. Kamaka, this is such a great space. And, guys, not a cloud above us. The skies are completely blue. Thank you very much for that, Justin Cruz. <laughs> it is a beautiful day here in Waikiki. The parade is finally starting to make its way down to where we are. So we are right in front of the outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber, and then we're pretty much like in the middle, maybe a little bit closer to the yes. end. Yes. But we're here to see the parade come through and give you more up close personal shots. But right now we're having a lot of friends and family starting yes. to find their space along the roadway. And this is a this is a weekend celebrating joy and diversity and inclusion. We are seeing families. We are seeing so many amazing smiles. So many, and you know where there are also some smiles is with our buddy Mikey Moniz. He's actually on one of the floats, I believe. So let's see where he's at. How's it going, Mikey? Hi, you guys. We're having so much fun. I got DJ Clint here on the Alaska Airlines float. If you're hearing all of this, that's because we are repping our Alaska Airlines pride flags over here. We got the fans going, we got the vibes vibing. It is so much fun. And if you're near the Waikiki or Ala Moana area and you're watching at home, make your way down to Kalakaua Avenue and come party with us. This is happening all day, all night long. Back to you guys. Go play. is a party. Thank you so much, Mikey. All right, we'll hear from Mikey as well as Kamakapili and Bridget Namata uh, more as the parade progresses. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, more of those colorful and beautiful floats on the Pride Parade in Waikiki 2023. a lot of energy and there's a lot of color. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade, live from Waikiki. Welcome to Alaska Airlines. How can I help you? One ticket to Las Vegas, please. Of course. You know, my friend Funshine would have loved this trip. Well, our companion fare is just $99 with the Alaska Airlines Visa card to anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. With no blackout dates? Yes, so your friend could come along with you. Next time, you're the legs. Where does he come from? <laughs> There are places on this planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself. Where music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot. Where you're welcome with love, respect, and a soundtrack. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels, come be here. Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. Welcome back to the Honolulu Pride Parade, it's where the parade, morning. Kamaka the parade is in full swing. Here are we seeing right now? We're finally starting to see the beginning of the parade where we are, and right now we're starting to see the Rainbow Rider Motorcycle Contingency. Dykes on bikes. Now, the motorcycles traditionally lead every Pride Parade around the world. Each rider that you see is a Hawaii resident riding their own bikes, proud to represent in Honolulu Pride. I am loving the energy that they're bringing down Kalakaua Avenue. I was Kamaka. just going to say the same thing. If you're going to start off of a parade, it has to be loud. Yes. There has to be a lot of noise, and that's exactly what we're getting here. And there's only about, I would say, 20 motorcycles or so. But the noise is being brought for everybody here, and it's starting off this parade on such a great note. Oh, absolutely. You can just see all the smiles on people's faces. And right now, the, the sidewalks in Waikiki are starting to fill up now with a lot of excited spectators. Some even curious as to what all the noise is. They're actually walking out of their hotels, and I can tell from their faces they are pleasantly surprised to see this. Yeah, a lot of people actually came up to us and asking what was going on. Well, I would have thought all the flags around is a good indicator, but it's really nice to see that there's a lot of people also that's really jumping in and being part of the celebration with us. Look at all the smiles on these folks. And they're following the rules of the road. They're stopped right here. Thank you. On a red note. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all that noise to kick off the 2023 Pride Parade. 
Now, coming up, there's about over a hundred different floats. Absolutely. Or, or presenters throughout this. thousands of marchers. And they have been working on this for so long. A lot of them had early call times. Kamaka, yeah. 4 a.m. Now, let's hover, head over to Mikey. I hear that he's on an Alaska Airlines float. Mikey, how is it on your end? We'll head over to Mikey in a little bit. I think he's having so much, There's too much fun so right much now. There's so much energy going around <laughs> that we have to stay focused <laughs> on what's in front of us. But again, we are starting off, and as uh, the noise are, is being made from all these motorcycles, again, they're kind of cruising just now, but it's really actually a good thing to do because it's really helping to corral a lot of the people who are inside the shops, who are inside the rooms. Again, starting off this parade on such a magnificent oh, note. Oh, yes, Kamaka. This is going to be an unforgettable weekend filled with joy and equality. And I'll tell you what, if you want to be in a space where you are loved immensely, where there's nothing but smiles, nothing but inclusion, diversity, and equality, then you're going to want to be in Waikiki. And it's a perfect place. Well, I know, I think it was earlier this year, Kumuhina had actually brought out the story of Kapai Mahu, which is li little further down from where we are, but it really talks about uh, certain Mahus who've come here, and it just, I know Justin and Max was talking about heritage and tradition and how we're really starting to bring that out. So it's really cool that we can be able to connect all these pieces and tell these stories. I mean, Waikiki alone, I'm such a dork, so there's so many stories to talk about. <laughs> but for today, it's about celebrating all of that. So again, we have the Dykes on Bikes in front of us right now. I think the next one that will be coming down is Hawaiian Airlines, which we have already made a note that they're always the biggest and most elaborate floats participating in this parade every year. Oh my goodness. I'm just love I'm just so excited to see all of the floats. Right now we're at the start, the beginning of the parade and you can just see all of the energy happening right now. This is such a wonderful, beautiful start to the weekend here in Waikiki for the Honolulu Pride Parade. Nothing but smiles and laughter and love. We should have this like every day, at I least think just so. this energy the world and this would be aloha. a better place, Kamaka. Right. Right. That's what I say. So from the beginning, they're all coming down here again. So we are situated in front of the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Comer. So it's closer to the ending portion, but still quite in the middle of the route. So we are going to start to see uh, more activity taking place. And as we continue to talk, we are starting to see a lot more crowds starting to corral along the sidewalks and finding their spot on the side. Uh, to make sure they have a clear view of what's taking place. And Kamaka, I am just loving the outfits everyone is wearing. You can just tell they put a lot of care and effort and time into and color. looking <laughs> good. Once again, guys, we are here in Waikiki at the Honolulu Pride Parade. Much more to come. Stick around. We'll be right back. The Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade is brought to you by Alaska Airlines, the premier airline of pride, and Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, home of the 2023 Honolulu Pride Parade broadcast. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade, live from Waikiki. Up on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low 369 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on the Rogue Platinum. I am medical director for Transgender Services. I get the opportunity to take care of some of our most vulnerable patient populations, including our LGBTQ communities, and offer them compassionate, culturally responsive care delivery that is consistent with the values of Kaiser Permanente. And for me, to be able to help someone achieve their most authentic self, to be able to um, live their most healthy life, is the best part of my job. Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. 
Welcome back to the Honolulu Pride 2023. As you can hear all this noise around us, we have our Dykes on Bikes group that is just leaving. So that means we're getting set up for the next float that will be coming down Kalakaua Avenue, which should be Hawaiian Airlines. And Bridget, I'm so Ooh. excited because they're always so festive. Kamaka, I always enjoy seeing what Hawaiian Airlines puts together because every year it's just elaborate and gorgeously done. So right now we are, again, just getting started and the motorcycles were first. As we were mentioning, it's probably the best thing to do. Those to are just start. the amazing dykes on bikes yeah. <laughs> starting off every par parade as they do traditionally. They do carry on the tradition of being the first flow to open the parade because as they say, there's nothing like the rumble of motorcycles to say the pride, to say the pride parade is here. And you know what's funny is that they all were so, I mean, we had them in front of us because they were cruising for about five minutes, mm. but all of them were so, just the energy energy and the, the smiles on people's faces is very infectious. But you know, we're having so much fun here. We don't want to take away, take all of the fun. Let's send things over to our friends, Justin and Max in studio. Hey guys. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you, Kamaka. That looks so much fun. So many rainbows, so many yeah. sounds and just laughter. You could just feel the energy. I got to admit, um, you know, as as being a, a somewhat semi reoccurring <laughs> host of this parade, that is one of my favorite. And, and I think it's a great way to start the parade. But let's talk about the end of the parade yeah. as more of these floats and more people start to fill in to Kalakaua Avenue. After the parade is over, there's just a beginning of another big party. Oh yeah, right. this is just the start of the day. And good thing that we start early because this <laughs> day will go on. You know, it's the festival, the Honolulu Pride Festival starts at 1 p.m. Mm. at the Waikiki Shell. That's where the parade, that's where all the contingents will end okay. and they will deload, but they won't go anywhere because that's when the party is just started. Mm. And we'll have tons of vendors and there'll be performances, music, dance, and you know, the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, we really want to go ahead and make this event for everyone. We have spaces, activations for kupuna, for family. We have a uh, drag queen story time for the keiki. It's really for the entire family. And then, of course, headliner. We're so excited. Our theme is homecoming. Mm -hmm. The one and only Sasha Kobe. She's going to be here. She's headlining the festival as well as she is the Grand Marshal of the parade. And we will be seeing her later today. And this, as you mentioned to me earlier, this is her, her first time back since winning RuPaul's Drag Race. Absolutely. Season 15 winner. And mm -hmm. she is the first Native Hawaiian contestant to win and even participate in that very important reality show for uh, drag entertainers around the country. It, it really meant so much for her to be the winner. You should have, uh, you know, when the show was going on, tons of people were going out to these uh, LGBTQ spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see hulas later today. Yeah. You'll see tapas. Uh, you'll see in between. All of those spaces were hosting watch parties. And let me tell you, it was such a good environment, the community coming together. And we're so excited to have her back here. Welcome home, Sasha. We're going to okay. have more from her as well as a very special surprise guest. Yeah. But let's go back to Bridget and Kamaka right on the streets of Kalakaua Avenue where all the action is at. That's right, guys. Thank you, Justin. We are here on Kalakaua Avenue continuing to see this really bright, festive parade. It is great energy here. Again, we're standing in front of the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Comer, and I want to introduce the... Outrigger Resorts and Hotels Global Media Director. We're here with Kyle Vidal. Thank you very much, Kyle. Thanks for, Thanks for joining. Tell us, what are, what are you doing here today? Are you part of this festival? Are you going to be jumping in? What's going on? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. So um, obviously, I'm out here celebrating with friends and family and the community. Um, today's just going to be a great day having fun, watching all the floats. Um, but I'm also happy to talk about Outrigger Resorts and Hotels with you. When, when it comes to Outrigger, what is it so, why is it so important that you guys contribute and participate this, um, especially this year, I mean, and, and allowing us really to be in front of your guys' hotel? For sure, for sure. Beautiful Waikiki Beach Comer Hotel. Um, so at Outrigger, we truly honor diversity and inclusivity. So it's just really important for us to be here celebrating with our hosts and our guests. And, you know, we encourage everyone to celebrate who they are, however they feel most comfortable. So we just wanted to be out here and show support once again. That's awesome. Thank you very much. But, you know, for those who are watching, what, what, what do you want them to know? Yeah, you know, Outrigger's been part of Hawaii for over 75 years. Um, you know, we love being a part of this community, whether it's supporting UH Sports or 
you know, supporting um, reef cleanup and beach cleanup and uh, providing uh, entertainment for the local community. You know, right across the street here, we have Everger Waikiki Beach Resort, where we host Dukes on the beach every Sunday. Down at the other end of Waikiki, we have Connie Kapila Grill with live nightly music uh, from award-winning artists. And then here, right behind us, at the Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, we're super excited to host the first Cirque du Soleil show in Hawaii at the end of next year. And I am so stoked for that because I'm going to be doing a new story on that, and I'm just expecting just a lot of fun with that. And i got to say, your guys' hotel is... Me and Bridget were talking. It's just a vibe. It's so cool inside. It's the first time being there. So what you're leading to and what all our viewers should know is if you're coming down here the whole day, there's a lot of things to continue the celebration following this parade. But that's it for now as we're going to continue to see more floats come down. But let's toss it back to the studio with our buddies Justin and Max. All righty. Thank you, Kamaka. Fantastic. Well, now we see the next group there. That is the Bank of Hawaii. Bank of Hawaii employees and family members are joining this group, and they say that they live your pride, aloha pride, and they are a proud to serve and support their customers, employees, and their community, helping everyone to live your happy and be fully you. And they've been a long-standing supporters of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, and they're also one of the large groups here uh, to be participating in the Pride Parade. And just take a look at the amount of effort that they put in every single year. Very intentional. Really? Yeah. Very intentional. Look at all those colorful balloons, and of course, uh, the big truck with the flatbed, with their employees, with their community members uh, yes. that call uh, the Bank of Hawaii their home and their family and yes you you are absolutely right they are a staple of the pride parade each and every single year and they go all out i mean everything <laughs> every every year is is different um all of their employees and their family members uh and their crew with their blue shirts uh, which they switch up every single year and of course their big balloon display there uh, very colorful with the words pride. Thank you very much to the Bank of Hawaii for their continued support of Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. Yes, and just take a look at the flags also. Very intentional and in making sure that they include the entire rainbow. You see uh, the LGBT rainbow flag, but then you also see the transgender flag there with the pink mm. and the blue and the white. So what I'm and, and as you mentioned, the shirts as well, not only are they proud supporters, but they also put in the work and it shows. Mm. They definitely, every single year, it's a new gear. And just look at the amount of people that they're bringing in uh, with them. Well, once again, we want to thank them for being a big part of the event today. And let's head on over and check in with Mikey Moniz and see where he's at and what he's up to. Mikey. We, we're having audio issues. We're going to get that corrected. And when that is corrected, we'll go right back to Mikey, who's uh, talking with one of our real big supporters, Hawaiian Telecom. So we'll check in with him in just a little bit. Uh, right now, we're still... Oh, nice doggy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Now, we are at Hula's. Oh, man. Hula's, another long stand supporter of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. They will be actually be having the official after party after the festival. I'm telling you, it's a long day of festivities. <laughs> I wasn't joking. And every single year, you will recognize those uh, balloons. That's become a little bit of their staple as the yeah. parade goes on. Yeah. And, and I love it. Uh, I, I do too. And, you know. One day, I think I want to drive that little car in the front with the, with the balloons. Uh, yes, Hula's, of course, has been a, a, almost a legacy uh, establishment in Waikiki. Everyone knows about Hula's. And they do go out every single year. As you can see, they had their uh, you know, small cars with the balloons, and they also have a float, and they have a contingency of folks. And that balloon, those, those long, straight balloons, yes. all, they always do that as well. And they will be celebrating 50 years. Hula's? Next year. Wow. November. Can that you believe? I cannot believe it. That's <laughs> crazy. They, they've been a, they're a staple in Waikiki. Popular with tourists, popular yeah. with locals. Yeah. It is one of those spaces that I told you where we would go watch RuPaul's Drag Race and cheer on Sasha Kobe, our Grand Marshal of this parade. 
it is just a wonderful space. It's such a, a welcoming environment. And, and, and I gotta give a shout out to uh, their general manager, Brian Anabaredi, mm -hmm. who actually allowed us to host a press conference the other day with the performers of Pride at the Festival. And they just opened their doors and made us all feel welcome. And it was just a wonderful experience to have them there. All right, let's go back to Mikey Moniz once again. He is with our representative from Hawaiian Telecom, Mikey. Everybody, we're here at Magic Island, the start of the Pride Parade 2023, and I'm here with my friend Joy from Hawaiian Telecom. Hello, Mikey. Good to see you. Good to see you again this year. Super excited to be here. Second year. This is our second year here. Last year, we were so excited to be here, but we wanted to be even more present this year to support the LGBT QIA plus community and support our our Ohana that is part of that community as well. So we we actually last year we only had one vehicle. We have four vehicles, including this beautiful float this year, I and we're it. so excited to be here. I love it. That just shows how much fun you had last year. That you're bringing an additional amount of vehicles. Yes. Now I know there's a lot happening today, and I'm, I know I'm going to put bring you back to what you got to do. Yes. But real quick, what is something that you're most looking forward to today? Oh, just the energy, just like walking through the parade, feeling the energy of the people, feeling the love from the community, and just being able to radiate that back because Hawaiian Telecom, we love supporting our community, our LGBTQIA plus community, and being there for our family. This is why we're here. We want to connect with everyone here, and especially, little shout out it is our 140th year this year so so yeah we are so proud to be part of this parade well joy thank you so much for talking to us i'm gonna let you go back to your amazing flow but you guys if you're in waikiki area make your way down you got to watch the parade we'll see you guys very soon thank you so much joy. yeah thank you thank you very much mikey appreciate that and thank you to hawaiian telecom as we continue our coverage of the 2023 Pride Parade. Up on deck, we've got the Honolulu Zoo Society. Yes, they are a nonprofit of the Honolulu Zoo with the mission to connect to the community through wildlife conservation education. And their theme is on the wild side, representing the wildlife they love and all of the colors of the rainbow in honor, of course, of pride. And take a look at that. <laughs> you can see <laughs> it's definitely animal orientated uh, for the Honolulu Zoo Society. Great things happening at the Honolulu Zoo. We've got uh, some Sumatran tigers. We have a female tiger that they're hoping to breed yes. because they're very hard to breed in captivity. So we're crossing our fingers for that. And if not, there's a plan B, there's gonna be a boy tiger to go in there and, <laughs> and, and assist with that. So exciting things going on at the Honolulu Zoo and mahalos to the Honolulu Zoo Society. Needless to say that we all want a baby tiger. That's right. <laughs> Sumatran tiger born here in Hawaii at the Honolulu Zoo. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is Honolulu cheer. That is next in line. Did I tell you that I used to be a cheerleader back in high school? So this is you bringing back memories, actually. Really? Yes. I, you know, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I didn't know that, but now we all know. A little secret about Max. He was a cheerleader. Um, this, the, the Honolulu cheer is part of the Hawaii Rainbow Chamber of Commerce. Uh, alo where they say, you know, aloha for all is good business, helping grow Hawaii's LGBTQ business community, representing businesses and individuals and corporations, as well as nonprofits and organizations who members pretty much share the values of promoting diversity and equality. Yes. They've got the energy, that is for sure. Oh, and we feel it for sure. Look at them. And they actually, they say that they put their athletic abilities to good use and raising funds. It's a nonprofit, so they help lots of the community out there, especially the LGBTQIA plus community. Big mahalo to, again to Cheer Honolulu, a nonprofit that raises money and awareness benefiting the LGBTQ community. Up next and on deck, Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction Center. Yes. 
The H3RC's mission is reducing harm, promoting health, creating wellness, and fighting stigma in Hawaii and the Pacific. H3RC is the oldest and largest LGBTQIA organization in the Pacific. And today's parade uh, represents all the colors of the pride flag, and they all intersect and mingle to create a beautiful community. And then several flags there, again, you see representing uh, in this group. Oh, with the big smiles. All right, let's check in with Michael Monique and see what he's up to on the parade route. Mikey. Everyone, I'm here with my friend Andrew from Triple HRC. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Okay, first of all, I gotta say, the teeth. <laughs> loving you, it, loving you, the hair, you. everything. What are you looking forward to most this year at Pride? Um, I think it's just so exciting to see our entire community come together and show up like this. Um, with everything happening on the continent, so much anti-LGBT legislation happening, it's just so amazing to see Hawaii's community come together and show support for our queer community and just show that it's not welcome here. We love it. And you guys, if you're near the Waikiki area, the Ala Moana area, make your way down to Pride. Grab yourself one of those fans. I'm hot. Or grab yourself an umbrella and enjoy the day. The vibes are just epic. Thank you yeah. so much, Brian. Good to see you. Thank you. you. Alright, back to you guys. All right, thank you very much there, Mikey. And uh, you can see in the distance uh, a major sponsor of the broadcast today, which is Alaska Airlines. Oh, yes, absolutely. They are one of the folks, one of the groups making this broadcast happen as well. The Alaska Airlines group will be made up of employees, as you could see them all just having a great time there, including families and friends and part of the LGBTQ community, including allies. This group is being led by LGBTQ employees uh, and business resource groups known as the Pride Crew. So they have a specific crew just for the LGBTQIA community. And they say at its core, Alaska Airlines has been proudly supporting the communities they serve in Hawaii for over 15 years and Alaska Airlines values the meaningful partnerships with the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation and it is proud to show their true colors as a sponsor for Honolulu Pride. Thank you so much Alaska Airlines. And they have been doing this for many many years and of course you know it's Alaska Airlines on the parade route when they have that huge inflatable <laughs> 737. You can't miss it. Yeah, you can't, can't miss, miss it. it. And non then, I like that nonstop pride. That ties very well into an airline that does nonstop trips to the West Coast and other destinations. And I just also got to say, they also will be sponsoring and part of hosting with the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation a Flight with Pride brunch that's taking place on Sunday. It's going to be a great time. Carrie Colby, Sasha Colby's daughter, will be headlining. Sounds like a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. Let's check in with Bridget Namada, see what she's up to on the parade route. Bridget, what do you see? Hi. Hey, guys. I'm here with James Thomas. He is the director of diversity, equity, and inclusion at Alaska Airlines. Sorry I'm talking so loud, guys. It's so, the energy out here, James, it is contagious. It is contagious. And first of all, I'm just really excited to be here. It's a beautiful day in Hawaii and Honolulu, and so I'm super excited to be taking part in this just joyous celebration today, so thank um, you. Alaska Airlines, you guys are a proud sponsor of Honolulu Pride. Can you share why this partnership is so special to Alaska? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we've been here from the beginning, and um, it's been almost about a decade now that we've been sponsoring uh, Pride in Honolulu, and, you know, it's really about love and acceptance and it's as a person in the queer community myself um, I'm just so happy to be able to really share our values as a company and as an organization and really it's about just accepting people as they are loving them and I think that's really what pride uh, you know really is all about absolutely Honolulu pride is celebrating joy and diversity and over at Alaska Airlines you help lead the diversity equity and inclusion efforts so how is Alaska creating uh, an inclusive environment in there within the airlines? Yeah, it's, it's, it's participating in things like this with our communities where we really get to understand the, 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 the many diversity of people that fly with us and that we do business in communities. But it's also our employees uh, that, that really help us. We have uh, business resource groups. Um, and those are groups that are formed by employees, for employees, um, and they really help us understand some of those nuances in different communities to really help us show up and be the best that we can for uh, those different communities. So, Speaking of different communities, can you share some ways that Alaska is connecting with communities? 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, uh, whether it's our, our different sponsorships, whether it's, uh, you know, donations to different uh, communities and organizations, in essence, kind of really putting our money where our mouth is and really kind of helping to invest in the things that are important. You know, two of the values in our company are really um, uh, being kind-hearted and doing the right thing. And so diversity is really about how do we do the right thing and be kind-hearted, and that means inviting everybody into the conversation. Well said, and that is the atmosphere here in Waikiki. James Thomas with Alaska Airlines, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so much. It was really great to be here, and again, happy Pride. Happy Pride. We'll send it over to you guys. Thank you, Bridget, and thank you to Alaska Airlines for the nonstop support of this broadcast live on KHI and rebroadcast tonight on KHON at 7 p.m. Alaska Airlines, the premier airline of Honolulu Pride. Uh, up next, we have more individuals. It looks like the I see a uh, banner from the University of Hawaii, possibly. Um, let's see, University of Hawaii, they... Yes, you know, they... UHM? It is, yeah. and usually for them, a lot of their groups who are part of the clubs that represent LGBTQ uh, students, faculty, and staff, they are the ones who participate, as well as allies, participate and really show off and show and make sure that they represent the UH Manoa community as well as the entire university system. So it's very awesome to see students and faculty and staff all marching together uh, in this Pride Parade. And we certainly love our hometown university and the community college system. Of course, we are the Rainbow Warriors. Oh. <laughs> so very, very appropriate. Very right fitting, there. I would yeah. say. <laughs> as the Pride uh, Parade continues down Kalakaua Avenue, beginning at historic and beautiful, distinctive Ala Moana Beach Park, along through a small portion of Ala Moana Boulevard and the Ala Moana Boulevard Bridge, which becomes and merges into Kalakaua, which is what you are seeing right here. Now, we're going to have more from the 2023 Pride Parade live and direct in Waikiki when we continue. But again, before we go to break, a big mahalo to Alaska Airlines, Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber, Nissan, and Kaiser Permanente for bringing you Pride Parade 2023. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade live from Waikiki. Welcome to Alaska Airlines. How can I help you? One ticket to Las Vegas, please. Of course. You know, my friend Funshine would have loved this trip. Well, our companion fare is just $99 with the Alaska Airlines Visa card to anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. With no blackout dates? Yes, so your friend could come along with you. Next time, you're the legs. Where does he come from? <laughs> Welcome back to the Honolulu Pride. We are here at the in front of Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber. And we want to give a big mahalo to Outrigger Resorts and Hotels for all the support to bring forth this year's Pride Parade. Bridget, it is going amazing so far. Kamanka, the energy here in Waikiki is absolutely electric. You know what? If you didn't have any sleep, you're surely awake now I'm with all now. of the love <laughs> and the joy that we're seeing on everyone's faces. And I'm just loving how people are coming out, walking this route all the way from Magic Island to Waikiki Shell. And all of these people, I got to that, that is some... Um, I mean, it's a hot day. The sun is shining. Thank you very much, Justin, for providing us beautiful weather for this parade. We are continuing to see many, many floats come through. Currently, we are... It looks like we're seeing, is this Bacchus Waikiki? 
staff and friends of Bacchus Waikiki, which is this really amazing bar that I've been to, and they love supporting the LGBTQ plus community. There is so many. You know what the beautiful thing is? Is what? seeing all these different companies come out, you know, even airlines, banks, schools, coming together to support pride and the, the real essence of equality, and I think that's really awesome to see that. Oh, absolutely. Who doesn't want to feel included and accepted, right? Right. You know, throughout the morning, the crowd has been building. The excitement has also been building. And currently, we are continuing to see the next float come down. There's just so many different colors and so many things going on. We're trying to make sure what is what. I'm loving it. There may not be any rain over Waikiki, but there sure are a ton of rainbows. Come on, sure, yeah, That's a nice one. I like that. <laughs> I, I like do that. see First Hawaiian Bank and their yes making it down ever so slightly and slowly. That's right. The First Hawaiian Bank, you're going to see their employees and their family and friends come down Kalakaua Avenue for Honolulu Pride. The First Hawaiian Bank Ohana is celebrating diversity, equity, and inclusion with friends and family. Yes, yeah, so we have Bacchus passing us right now, and then First Hawaiian making its way slightly coming through. And as you can see behind, the road of Kalakaua Avenue is just packed with people. So right now we have First Hawaiian Bank. You know what, Kamaka? The sun is beating down on these marchers, but they are not letting some heat get in their way of having fun, huh? And as First Hawaiian Bank says, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gorgeous. And, and you know, it's really awesome to also witness people coming up, asking what's going on, and sharing their support, even though they may have not known that they're going to be part of this big celebration. But I think it just goes back to that spirit of aloha. Mm -hmm. And as much as we feel it today, this is what we should be feeling every single day in Waikiki. And as the morning goes on, the crowds are swelling. You just can't help but stop and take a look at what's going on. A lot of noise. Which one is this one? I think it's an old fire truck. Anyway, a lot of people coming through. Trolley. So after First Hawaiian Bank, we are going to start to see Sutter Health Kahimohala. They will be making its way their way down shortly. But yes, you see rainbows all over the place. Colors here and there. Look at the dogs. Oh, Everybody. and there are, there are dogs too. It's absolutely adorable. All right. Who are we seeing here? I think this is still First Hawaiian Bank. You know when you're a bank, you got a lot of money which means you have a lot of different floats. <laughs> <laughs> That's First Hawaiian Bank making their way down Kalakaua Avenue. But with all of that regalia, all Ooh, of that clothing, look at her. it is her. a she hot looks day. Regal. So all these people deserve all the credit for Beautiful. manning the, the, the street for the day because it is a hot one. And once again, you're looking at a float from First Hawaiian Bank marching on with employees family and friends the first hawaiian bank ohana is celebrating diversity equity and inclusion beautiful in the house so what has been your your most favorite float so far well, we're having a whole bunch of fun here on Kalakaua Avenue, Kamaka, but let's go check in with Mikey Moniz. Mikey, how is it on your end? Everybody, we're back here at Magic Island in the parking lot getting ready for the parade to actually kick off. I'm with Scott from Kaiser. Good to see you, friend. You too, my friend. Happy Pride. Thank you. You too. Okay, let's talk about, you know, Kaiser being involved with Pride this year. Why was it so important for Kaiser to be involved in the Pride Parade? Well, I, aside from just, just celebrating Pride and diversity and inclusivity amongst our employees and our, our staff and clinicians, um, you know, this is a nod to Maui as well. I think we need to, to find ways to celebrate, and, and this is one way to do it, and this is how we like to do it, Kaiser style. I love it. Okay, so well, speaking of Kaiser style, what is Kaiser style? What is Kaiser looking forward to when you guys actually head over to the parade? We are looking forward to lots of bubbles coming everywhere from our trolley, apparently. Um, and the theme is rooted in, in pride. So we're hoping that we're sending that message of growth and unity and inclusivity. And, and hopefully everyone's going to celebrate with us. Perfect. Scott, great to see you. Have so much fun out there and happy pride. Thanks, bud. All right, you guys, back to you guys.
Thank you very so, much. So as you can see, activity continues down Kalakaua Avenue, and I believe we're looking at Wang Chung's. Wang Chung's. Wang Chung's is an LGBTQ plus karaoke bar in Waikiki. They're celebrating 14 years serving the local community. Wang Chung's is so excited to be back participating and celebrating Pride with their ohana. You know they say, Kamaka, music is a universal language. And as we dance, sing, and celebrate Honolulu Pride today, these beats of love, diversity, and community connect us. I like that. That is. So Karaoke poetic. is always fun. Oh, my goodness. I love Wang Chang's. You know, one thing I've never actually seen in Honolulu is a parade with actual floats. So we've seen the Alaska Airlines big old airplane float, which I would, wouldn't want to be on that airplane if it moved like that. <laughs> <laughs> but then now we see this unicorn coming down. And then behind that, we are slowly going to start to see the Lutheran Church of Honolulu right after Wang Chang's. But look at how happy everyone is. I am just loving the energy here, Kamaka. It's so electric. I'm a very colorful person, as you can tell. I always <laughs> wear bright colors. So to be surrounded by other people who wear bright colors, <laughs> it's very welcoming. You feel included. Right. <laughs> loving that unicorn. So I believe this is still Wang Chun's, and again, behind that would be the Lutheran Church of Honolulu. That's right. The Lutheran Church of Honolulu has been open and accepting to all individuals and couples of LGBTQ status in full fellowship since passing the acceptance of Reconciling in Christ Declaration back in October 1993. In the year since, they participated in Gay Pride fundraising for Gregory House, AIDS Foundation, Legacy Foundation, and supporting and welcoming LGBTQ individuals to their religious services and social activities. Yes, so here we go, and that's when we see the Lutheran Church, or Harris United Methodist, and, and a person. <laughs> The smiles are big and wide this morning, Kamaka. Everybody, as they pass by the camera, they're just waving, saying aloha, and it's very infectious, really. And I've got to say, we are seeing people of all ages, of yep. all races, of all Kiki ethnicities. Kiki walking down the street, Kupuna following them, mm -hmm. people from around the world, different cultures coming together. And through Waikiki, which of course has its own history, this place is just steeped with history and family, really. So using this day to be able, and this avenue and this area to be able to highlight pride, I think it's all complimentary. And once again, you're seeing Wang Chung's an LGBTQ plus karaoke bar in Waikiki. If you have time, go check them out. They are celebrating 14 years serving the community. Wang Chang's at Karaoke Bar in Waikiki. They all must be sweating bullets right now. <laughs> well, it is pretty hot, but hey, we would rather have the sun beating down on us than rain on our parade, right? I could take a little bit more cloud coverage, but the blue skies <laughs> is very beautiful this I morning. I don't see a cloud in sight, Kamaka, at least over here overhead on Kalakaua Avenue. So now we're looking at the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii Young Professionals Program. The Chamber of Commerce Hawaii Young Professionals Program, they're a network of young professionals dedicated to bettering the business community and various industries in Hawaii. The young professionals are between the ages of 21 to 39. They engage in professional development opportunities to elevate professional and personal skills to prepare the next generation of business leaders. So. You're looking at the next business leaders, folks. And good news, we're both still considered young. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know what, Kamaka, this is so fun, but they were the, that was the first time the, the young professionals have walked in this parade. But who are we seeing here? Ah, Spill the Tea Cafe. Yes, at Spill the Tea Cafe, they're on a mission to save lives. They provide a safe, inclusive space for at-risk youth to receive high-quality mental health services, including individual and group therapy sessions, and a place to hang out with kids who may be going through similar challenges. Their founder, a trans teenager who experienced bullying, created this clinic to decrease the alarming rate of suicide among at-risk youth in Hawaii. 
We stand boldly with our LGBTQ Keiki. I love to hear that. You know, oh, I think this we're really hearing a lot of cheese. Oh Kamaka. yes, so much fun. You know what's really what this really brings out is, I think it's just thinking that how many other places in the world actually would accept this kind of a celebration. Mm -hmm. So I think in Hawaii and in America we're very, but I think specifically Hawaii we're very acclimated to mahu and that lifestyle. So it, it's nice that we can be able to celebrate this freely, knowing that other places around the world you wouldn't be able to do this. Absolutely. What are we seeing now, Kamaka? This looks like the Aloha Bears. I do, I do want to give a big shout out to Alaska Airlines, the premier airline of Honolulu Pride. Bridget, you were speaking with them earlier, just oh, a little bit yes, ago. Yes, absolutely. I was speaking with James Taylor. He's the director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I loved what he had to say to us because he talked about how Alaska Airlines wants to create an environment of joy and diversity and acceptance. And that is what we're seeing today at Honolulu Pride. Yes. What are we seeing next? The, the Aloha, Aloha Bears. Bears. <laughs> the Aloha Bears is a nonprofit group based on Oahu. Their mission is to card for the Aina and show Aloha for Ohana. And towards this goal, they are committed to raising funds for local charities and awareness of important issues. The Aloha Bears, they say they're always proud to support the LGBTQ community with monthly events and fundraisers throughout the year. They say we march to represent the bear community. <laughs> loving it, loving the energy. Okay, bears. Okay. Looking nice. festive, looking festive. They're a vibe for sure. I swear, some of these outfits and costumes that people are wearing, if I'm hot just wearing what I'm wearing, <laughs> I can imagine what they're feeling like right now. This looks Disney. like Aulani Disney Resort and Spa Kamaka. Wow. Yes. LGBTQAI plus employees and allies of the LGBTQAI plus employees at Aulani, a Disney Resort and Spa. You know, when we're talking about all those letters, I really honestly don't know what all of the letters in the LGBT blah, 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 all the, so there's still a lot to learn, I think, you know, and I think when we're speaking of Mahu and, and pride, maybe people aren't necessarily know how to start a conversation as, mm. you know, in this kind of a realm. So when it we come places like this, it just helps to break down barriers. You can start asking questions. And I think it is a whole type of lifestyle that we all should be aware of. Absolutely. And we're looking at Disney Aulani whoa, whoa, whoa. Resort and Spa coming down Kalakaua Avenue. More to come at Honolulu Pride Parade 2023. Stick around. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. Live from Waikiki. There are places on this planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself where music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot, where you're welcome with love, respect, and a soundtrack. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels, come be here. Welcome to Alaska Airlines. How can I help you? One ticket to Las Vegas, please. Of course. You know, my friend Funshine would have loved this trip. Well, our companion fare is just $99 with the Alaska Airlines Visa card to anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. With no blackout dates? Yes, so your friend could come along with you. Next time, you're the legs. Where does he come from? <laughs> Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. 
Welcome back to the Honolulu Pride Parade. We are almost halfway done with the parade. Can you believe it, Justin? It's going really, really fast <laughs> because it's really, really exciting. It's really, really high energy. And we really appreciate you folks joining us on KHI and also live on the live stream on our website, khon2.com. Max Rodriguez, yours truly, Justin Cruz. We are back on the parade route and we continue with the huge show of support and a lot of people from Disney Aulani, they do it right. Fantastic, sure. yeah, no, and, and something that strikes me is just the diversity of the different rainbow colors as well as the different ages that we're seeing participate walking down Kalakawa Avenue. It just shows you that people are wanting to support the community and they really want to show their pride and they are willing to walk those almost two miles route from Magic Island to the Waikiki Shell. I gotta tell you, every time I see those those balloon formations and, and the, you know, that, buying balloons for a birthday party is not cheap, much less for a huge parade. And take a look at District 2. That was District 2 Council Member Matt Wire oh, walking right down the parade. He is uh, a proud ally and member actually of the LGBTQ uh, community and I also saw council member Tyler Dos Santos Tam there walking uh, alongside. I believe it is a uh, contingent of council members walking together. Well we appreciate the Honolulu City Council and their support and of course earlier you saw council member Wire there. Uh, the Honolulu First Unitarian Church uh, is now on deck uh, moving through and shortly after that um, that we're looking at right now um, actually, now that we're going back, um, we have an Ala Moana Hotel as well. So a lot of different companies, a lot of different walks of life, a lot of different ages, and just everyone coming together. Um, and, and it's good to see a lot of the businesses kind of huddle around this cause. Um, all different types of businesses, from banks to airlines to schools to organizations, nonprofits, you name it, it is here on the parade route today. You know what I love doing especially I like people watching. Yes. I like, I like, to, we, we have one of our uh, elected representatives walking in the parade as well. Yes. Um, but again, I like people watching to see, you know, if you got friends, maybe folks that you haven't seen in a long while, because there's quite a bit of people, and this is Waikiki uh, is the place to be today, not just for the Pride Parade, but the festivities that go on pretty much all weekend long. Absolutely, and I believe right now, who are we seeing right now are the Gay Man's Chorus of Honolulu. The Gay Man's Chorus of Honolulu is an organization that enjoys life, and they strive to spread joy and love to the global community through music. And it is important to support the community through visible participation in functions such as today, the parade. And it is a way to let people know that chorus is alive, and they want folks to join them and participate. I'm sure they sound fantastic when they do the performances, <laughs> when they sing. Yeah. Once again, the Gay Men's Chorus of Honolulu. I love, your, love the outfits too. Yeah, how's your singing skills, man? Oh, don't put me to nah, the test right now. No. But I will say this though, we, earlier we saw Wang Chung's, yeah. and Wang Chung's, I gotta tell you, out of many karaoke establishments across the state of Hawaii, their equipment is top notch. Mm -hmm. Their music is top notch. It's mm -hmm. like doing a little concert at Wang Chung's. Big shout out to my friend Dan Chang and his crew uh, from, from Wang Chung's as we see the gay chorus of Honolulu move through. Also on deck, uh, we just saw the Hawaii House Democrats. So we also have factions of politicians and, and different people from different political values and diversity coming together, you know, just for this this great day, just to be unified. Yeah. Good, really good to see that. Absolutely. And they go as the Stonewall uh, Caucus of the Democratic Party of Hawaii, and it is Hawaii's only LGBTQIA plus focused political, legislative, and policy organization. So very, very good to see representation in our elected officials as well. Yeah, we did see um, Council Member Tyler Dos Santos Tam, who's there, Matt Weyer, of course, uh, Representative Adrian Tam, and Darius Keeler, which I pointed out yes. a little bit earlier. As we now see HSTA, and we're gonna have more on that in just a little bit, but I'm told we are going to check in with Mikey Moniz. Um After this, actually, the shots, yeah, the yeah, margaritas. Yeah. And the AC. And the AC, honestly. 
This Hawaiian sun is beaming today. I love She's you out. so much. Good to see you. Nice Have so much fun today. Happy Pride, everybody. Back Aloha. to you. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Bye, babe. Good to see you. Very special guest there. Yeah. He was a surprise Rock. guest. Surprise guest. Right. And I'm so happy he was able to make the parade because he is such a big, big, uh, basically uh, part of the community here in Hawaii and representation. Uh, he is known throughout the world. Oh, yeah. He he's is. got a big show on MTV. Started he out is. as a, a YouTuber that just virally exploded. And now he's, he's pretty much conquered every type of medium. I'm yeah. thinking we're going to see him in movies soon. Oh, sure. yeah. Oh, I'm for sure sure about that. Magazine covers all the time. And as you were talking, the Hawaii State Teachers Association. So the Hawaii Teachers Association represents more than 1,300 public school teachers, counselors, librarians across the state of Hawaii. And as educators, they strive to create safe and inclusive spaces and build supportive communities so that every child can learn and thrive. And to their LGBTQ students, they say that they love them, they are proud out of them and they will always be there for them. What a great message. Yes. A great message for our youth. Um, yeah, again, Hawaii, <clears throat> excuse me, a Teachers uh, Union Association. And we've got more, you know, there's also a, a, a lot of other schools here uh, representing as well. We've also got Punahou representing on top of that. They're going to be shortly after the HSTA. But a nice turnout from the HSTA. And we're talking about uh, not only teachers, but as you mentioned, Max, librarians, staff members, faculty, even students, all coming out today in the hot, beautiful Hawaiian sun along Kalakau Avenue for Pride 2023. And what a beautiful thing to see the group of students coming together and then having their teachers or counselors, basically the folks that they look up to and that they rely on every single day to learn and create a safe space to have them all together on this same parade. That just shows uh, just the diversity and the support that exists. And there's Bretman Rock again. I was going to say, who's that guy? He works out, man. He works out. <laughs> He's giving Kamaka a run for the money right now. Don't tell him that. <laughs> Kamaka, you have bigger guns. It's okay. It's okay. So, Bretman Rock, I mean, um, this was a little bit of a surprise secret with him coming because it really wasn't talked about. It yet. wasn't really, you know, and we wanted that as part of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. Our executive board really had been trying to uh, get him to participate and he wanted to, but as you could imagine, imagine how busy his schedule is. He's traveling all around the world all Absolutely. the time. So we're so happy that he was able to make it this Pride Parade and I am sure folks are excited to see him out on the streets and hopefully he gets to stick around to the festival as well. Uh, I, I hope so too. I mean, the, Brett Metman Rock is, is such a big celebrity. He has a big schedule and most of the time he's not even on island. Yeah. So to have him here today is a very, very special uh, and a, a nice sign of support from Metman Rock as well. And I do follow him on social media and he loves when he's back. Every time oh, he's yeah. back, he's here there with his chickens, yeah. <laughs> taking yeah. videos, selfies. And right now on screen, you see uh, Subaru Hawaii. Subaru Hawaii rides with pride, and they support the diversity and inclusion of their LGBTQ uh, community and employees. And they say that love, promise is to show respect and aloha with every interaction and encourage their community to be and to advocate uh, of love and pride. So thank you so much uh, for participating in this pride parade. That was Subaru Hawaii. I'm imagining lots and you see lots of keiki there. Imagine the families of the employees are here just enjoying having a beautiful time. And on top of that, uh, they have, we, we showed it in the last uh, picture, uh, some of those Subarus that are good fun on a weekend. Throw the dog in the back and just go cruising, just like we are cruising and enjoying the 2023 Pride Parade live from Waikiki, live on KHON2 and KHON, or excuse me, KHI and KHON2.com. Rebroadcast tonight at 7 p.m. We're going to take a quick break. More of the Pride Parade when we return. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade, live from Waikiki. On the street, you have pressed pills that look like oxycodone, that look like hydrocodone, but if a professional or someone on the street who's experienced looks at these pills, they can tell that they're pressed. So, Narcan... 
At unnecessary death, the second chance of life. Nobody should die. Nobody should die from an overdose. Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low 369 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on the Rogue Platinum. Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. All right, everybody, we are now on the Hawaii Theater Center flow. The vibe is vibing. It's so much fun. I'm with Greg Dunn from Hawaii Theater and Alec Cummings. Good to see you guys. Happy Pride. Thank you so much. Thank you. Having a lovely time. I love, I love everything that you do, love your work. Tell everybody about being here in Pride. What does it feel like? It's so exciting. I mean, I... I love even the, the people are telling us that uh, God hates us is, are being drowned out by the love and the celebration and the joy here. It's really inspiring. It and, really is. It's yeah. so much fun. Greg, I want to ask you, why was it important for Hawaii Theatre to be part of Pride Parade this year? Well, we support inclusiveness in our entire community. And this is creating safe spaces at Hawaii Theatre for all of our LGBTQ plus community to come and enjoy great entertainment and be their authentic selves. And we're absolutely thrilled that Alan is able to join us for this celebration this weekend. And we want to mahalo our sponsors. Performing tonight. Uh, he's performing, performing tonight. tonight. Performing tonight. At the theater, 8 o'clock. A ton of fun things happening this weekend. You're not going to want to miss it. Hawaii Theater, a part of 2023 Pride Parade. We're going to send it back to you guys. Thank you guys so much. Happy Pride. Hey, thanks so much, Mikey. The fun continues down Kalakaua Avenue for Honolulu Pride 2023. Right now, we're seeing the Australia and New Zealand consulates of Honolulu. They're looking good, Kamaka. That's right. They're a group with uh, the consulate staff and their families. They will have a trolley, which some of their group will cheer from, and also a few people walking, handing out small gifts to everybody. Ooh, I want one. Australia and New Zealand are leading activists in and for the LGBTQI plus rights domestically and is committed to prom promoting human rights and domestic democratic values overseas and in the Pacific. The parade is an awesome opportunity to support the LGBTQI plus community and celebrate our shared values. And they're slowly making their way down Kalakaua Avenue. And as I mentioned earlier, Kamaka, the crowds continue to swell. You can't help but want to be part of this parade. The energy out here is electric. It's very infectious. You just keep getting, being drawn towards the street so you can see everybody and what they're wearing. And really, as you mentioned, they're energy that's pretty much all you can feel right now and this is such a family friendly event Kamako we are seeing keiki we are seeing kupuna we are seeing people of all ages yep we've seen schools come through we've seen churches come through so to see everybody really highlighting the essence of equality I think that's something that we need more than ever and with this Honolulu Pride Parade that's really what it's all about I don't know if you can look closely in your screen and look inside the trolley. It looks like they have like a... I want to be on there. A little kangaroo. <laughs> They're having a party going on. <laughs> Aussie pride. Loving the energy. Loving the energy. Every float has been having their own music. Oh, and we're loving it. And we're enjoying it. I'm jamming. I am jamming. So next, we should be seeing Starbucks making its way down the road. Are ever they going to so hand slightly. out free frappuccinos? I could definitely yes. use iced coffee right now. I love that. <laughs> and you know what's the, even the best thing, Bridget? We're only halfway through, maybe, around halfway through this parade. Oh, I don't want this parade to end. I'm having so much fun. Yeah. I'm loving all of the creativity, putting... They, they put forth all of these groups, these hundreds of groups putting together for Pride. I do want to give a big shout out to the team that you cannot see. We do have a lot of technical team that is working behind the scenes to make this all possible. So a big shout out and mahalo to all of them 
for bringing forth such a beautiful broadcast of this Honolulu Pride Parade. If you couldn't make it down here and you are watching this, this is as close as you can get to actually be sitting here with us. Oh, oh, oh. I see them dancing their way down Kalakaua Avenue. Okay. Which this one group is, this? is a vibe. Is this Starbucks? Who are we looking at? You hear their music before you see them. Yep, Starbucks. It is Starbucks. All right. Awesome. Starbucks. So Starbucks Pride Network works to position Starbucks as the LGBTQA plus inclusion leader for partners and customers. Starbucks Hawaii has had a long-standing relationship with the local LGBTQ plus community. They strive to connect the islands through aloha and through pride while creating a sense of belonging for their partners and customers. And next coming down Kalakaua Avenue, Sherwin-Williams. They're the paint company and you're seeing their employees that are part of the LGBTQ community or allies. Now the folks that you're seeing that's part of Sherwin-Williams, they're part of their Pride Works resource group. They wanna support the local LGBTQ community and they wanna build brand awareness of their company. So much energy. That's right, Bridget. A lot of things taking place here. You're not going to want to go anywhere. We're going to take a quick break. Time to go use the bathroom if you need. Grab a nice glass of cold water and come back. We'll be right back with the Honolulu Pride 2023. See you soon. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. Live from Waikiki. There are places on this planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself. Where music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot. Where you're welcomed with love, respect, and a soundtrack. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels, come be here. Welcome to Alaska Airlines. How can I help you? One ticket to Las Vegas, please. Of course. You know, my friend Funshine would have loved this trip. Well, our companion fare is just $99 with the Alaska Airlines Visa card to anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. With no blackout dates? Yes, so your friend could come along with you. Next time, you're the legs. Where does he come from? <laughs> Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. Welcome back to Honolulu Pride. Nissan continues to support the LGBTQ plus community as a proud partner of progress. It is so fun out here, Kamaka. I'm telling you, I think we've got the best seats in the house. I, you know, I thought first because our friends Justin and Max are in the nice, cool, cold AC studio that they had the better deal, but I actually think we do. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and we're looking at Central Pacific Bank right now, making their way down Kalakaua Avenue, part of the Honolulu Pride Parade. Yes, Central Pacific Bank was founded with equality and diversity in mind and has a storied legacy of helping all of Hawaii's people. They believe a diverse local economy creates a stronger, healthier, and vibrant community for all. Hashtag CPB Pride continues to make a positive difference in people's lives, including their cherished members of the LGBTQ community, which is why they are honored to support Honolulu Pride's events today and all year round Having so much fun. It is pretty hot out here, folks, in Waikiki, but it's not stopping anybody it's not from stopping anybody. celebrating the festivities. Having so much fun. I mean, look at everybody just jamming. You know, I do have to be honest. I've never actually watched a full Pride Parade before. I've always been, you know, more so Aloha Festivals Parade, King Kamehameha Parade. So to see the how they put this together and just all the different floats and the energy it's the same but it's completely different at the same time but still a great parade nonetheless absolutely who do we have here now this looks like it's the hawaii gay football. flag football league football is mahu loving that sign football is for everyone 
Now, the Hawaii Gay Flag Football League, they're a nonprofit, and they aim to provide a safe space where the local queer community can compete, connect, and unite through the sport of flag football. For them, marching in this pride parade is important because they want to share their message that football is for everyone. If I were to play on any of the football teams, it would probably be the losing one. <laughs> <laughs> I won't play, but I will definitely be a spectator. <laughs> oh, there's a dog <laughs> on the back of a lady. So now we are looking at... I don't know what that one is. Well, as... We're I, having so much yes. fun here, Kamaka, but we want to share with you a message from our Grand Marshal, the one and only winner of Season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race, Sasha Colby. Uh, winning Season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race has opened my whole world up. It's allowed me to represent everything I love about drag, about Hawaii, about being Mahu, and really just getting to play and be creative. It is so great to be back in Hawaii, uh, being from Waimanalo Homestead, 96795. It's amazing to come home after winning a really huge competition and being able to represent not only Hawaii, but the Mahu community. It's uh, incredible. Mahu is technically uh, uh, the Hawaiian word for queer, uh, for someone who doesn't believe in the binary or isn't a part of a male-female binary. And it really embodies all of us as a LGBTQ community. And that's what Pride is about this season. And I'm so proud to have the word Mahu been, be taken back right now. What I'm most excited about celebrating Pride this year in Hawaii, uh, not only is it so special for me to be here uh, as someone with this blessing, but to really share it with a lot of my trans sisters from RuPaul's Drag Race, to share it with the kupunas and the aunties that I grew up with, and really uh, share it with all the new fans that get to know what um, Hawaii queer world knew for decades, and that's mother. <laughs> Right on. Why Manalo in the house? Yes, that is Mother herself. She is your favorite drag queen's favorite drag queen and winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. You know, I, I like the way you said that. And, uh, you know, here at work uh, at KHON2 between newscasts, you used to always tell me, like, you're really into that show. You really like that show. And after 15 seasons, we got the winner. Yes, we did. Was it even close? Was it second or third place? Or, or what did, did Sasha just like go for it? Very talented performers, but it was clear that yeah. she had it in the bag. I'm not, I mean, not to pick favorites, but really to pick favorites. <laughs> 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 she was really amazing. And you know, I interviewed her mm. uh, back in January. Mm. And it was even when the show was like three episodes in. Mm. And she, I believe she had already won. But like she had to keep that all tight she oh. couldn't reveal anything gotcha. so later a few months later i was like wow she yep. was the winner already and i spoke with her <laughs> it's the non-disclosure agreement that Absolutely. they always of course you don't want to spoil the show right well yeah. congratulations uh she's been a re great representative i've never met her but from what i've seen of her interviews and just her demeanor uh, a great representation of you know not only her causes, but just the cause of Hawaii as well. Yes. And, and, Putting and, us on the map. And transgender folks too, yeah. really. She is uh, not shy to talk and, and, and really uh, bring those rights forward to the forefront. And she will be headlining today, so catch her this evening at the Waikiki Shell, the Honolulu Pride Festival. Open to all. It's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. Up next, uh, looks like we have the Imperial Sovereign Court of Hawaii. They are partially dressed in uh, some of the native Hawaiian attire that you see. That's a nice little, you know, kind of implementation and inclusion. You have, yes. of course, uh, the beautiful colors and the flamboyancy, but you also have Hawaii's culture and heritage being represented right now as well. That is so important to uh, bring that to the forefront as, uh, you know, we want to have fun, but also we want to remember the roots and, and the reason while we are here, uh, not just uh, the queer community, but also of uh, Native Hawaiians and just the cultural importance of including that. 
for rates like these. And one big supporter, and has pretty much always been, is Mayor Rick Langiardi, as well as the city and county of Honolulu. You know, you know, during certain times of year, during Pride Month, they light up Honolulu Holly with those beautiful colors. Uh, very supportive. Of course, we can see Mayor Blangiardi right there in the thick of things, marching in this parade, walking along, greeting uh, his constituents right in the middle of Waikiki. Of course, he represents not only the mayor's office, but the city and county of Honolulu as a whole. Yeah, and thank you so much for the city for uh, allowing parades like these to take place for the festivals, for the various events. Uh, if it wasn't for them permitting, uh, closing down Kawakawa Avenue, uh, it's Absolutely. such a busy, a busy street. Uh, this wouldn't be possible. You don't close down Kalakaua Avenue for nothing. You know <laughs> what I mean? Especially uh, right in the middle of a Saturday. And um, so this is great. The, the appreciation and support uh, from the city and county of Honolulu. I do want to mention that after um, the folks from the city and county of Honolulu and Mayor Blangiardi walk through, shortly behind them will be the Royal Hawaiian Band. Always good to see them. Um, of course, you're seeing... By the way, if, if I have this correct, uh, this is an HFD um, original fire truck from back near the World War II days and attack at Pearl Harbor. That may be not the actual one, but maybe a subsequent old school fire truck that you just saw. And I mentioned earlier, now we have them. There they the are. The Royal Hawaiian Band. There they are, the Royal Hawaiian Band is an agency of the city and county of Honolulu and it is the only full-time municipal band in the United States. And the band performs and marches in over 300 concerts and parades each year, including city, state and military functions, schools, community centers, shopping malls, retirement communities, graduations, private events, so they do it all, basically. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't imagine uh, the city and county of, of Honolulu without the Royal yeah. Hawaiian Band. I mean, they're so iconic. They represent the entire county in such great ways, including uh, spreading the love of music. Absolutely. DPR, Department of uh, Parks and Rec, of course, still part of the city and county of Honolulu. Huge contingent from CNC of Honolulu this morning. Yes, and beautiful parks that we have oh, in yeah. the city. And we're going from, oh, there's a fire truck once again. Uh, you know park to park, right? So we're going <laughs> yeah. from iconic Ala Moana Beach Park all the way to Kapiolani Park. What a fitting beginning and what a fitting end to all of this. I'm just, I'm just geeking out on the fire truck because you really don't see this often. And yeah. they, they have this as part of their historic quote unquote museum that they have at the headquarters of the Honolulu mm. Fire Department, which is right on South Street uh, in Kaka'ako. That's the headquarters there and that's if you go there you can see these old fire trucks. It's good to see th that this one is still in shape and you can still drive the thing. I love that. Look at look at that. Is that the uh, the, the alarm, the sound of the, the, the siren? The sirens on wow. the uh, the bumper wow. and then conversely on the other side on the passenger side looks like a little bell there. So this thing has always been and always will be uh, there to generate some buzz and excitement. Uh, not used, of course, to fight fires anymore, but to celebrate the long, wonderful history of the Honolulu Fire Department. We see some Board of Water Supply vehicle, or a Board of Water Supply vehicle there. Also EMS, EMS. representing, I mean, I mean, talk about the entire, you know, departments of the city and county of Honolulu. They are all represented here today. I think we have to give a shout out to the first responders really for mm -hmm. being, uh, going directly to danger when needed and, and just no question. playing such a vital, important part in our community, maintaining us safe uh, when we really needed so many rescues happening. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I'm glad you said that because they, they don't ask questions. They, they just go and they just get the job done. Absolutely. All right, we're seeing the tail end of the city and county of Honolulu with DPR uh, uh, there and then Hanakoa Brewing uh, shortly after. We're going to take a quick break and get right back into the parade festivities and energy. But before we go to break, a big mahalos to our sponsor, Alaska Airlines, Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber, Nissan, and Kaiser Permanente. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade, live from Waikiki. I am medical director for Transgender Services. 
I get the opportunity to take care of some of our most vulnerable patient populations, including our LGBTQ communities, and offer them compassionate, culturally responsive care delivery that is consistent with the values of Kaiser Permanente. And for me, to be able to help someone achieve their most authentic self, to be able to um, live their most healthy life, is the best part of my job. Welcome to Alaska Airlines. How can I help you? One ticket to Las Vegas, please. Of course. You know, my friend Funshine would have loved this trip. Well, our companion fare is just $99 with the Alaska Airlines Visa card to anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. With no blackout dates? Yes, so your friend could come along with you. Next time, you're the legs. Where does he come from? <laughs> Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. All right, welcome back everyone and happy Pride. I hope you've been enjoying this wonderful parade. We are more than halfway done. It is a beautiful morning. Lots of colors, lots of excitement. People of all ages, families out there enjoying this wonderful parade. And like I said earlier, Today's just getting started, Justin. Yeah, there's a lot of events that have been going on as we see these uh, floats as well as these community groups getting together today as we broadcast live on KHI and on KHON2.com. Speaking of the many events, I'm surprised you can even remember that much, Max, because there's a lot going on. But uh, th this is, of course, the big parade. And then we have the big festival. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and you know, and, and you said it earlier in the broadcast, we start planning for this, the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, we will start planning for the next parade as soon as today is done. This takes a while, it's an effort of love, so many volunteers, uh, and I wanna give a big mahalo to the families, our families, our partners for dealing with us putting as we're with putting up with us as we try to plan these types of events so pride obviously it is a big project for the lgbt legacy foundation so Next, you know all the work that pays off because yes. if you look at what you're seeing right now with everyone getting together and just the simple logistics this is keep in mind this is one of if not the largest parade in honolulu each year in terms of the number of participants as well as the audience, right? We have our locals here, we have people that have flown in for this event, and we also have our visitors who we're very thankful for. Uh, and it, it, takes an, it takes a whole state to get this together. <laughs> it really does. All right, uh, let's check in with our good buddy, Mikey Moniz, who's got a very special friend he'd like to say hi to. All right, everybody, we're here on the Alaska Airlines float right now in the middle of Pride. I'm with Rasha and, of course, three-time Grammy Award winner, Beehive member, Aloha. Kalani Pat. Aloha! <laughs> Aloha. Okay. Aloha! This is so much fun. Rasha, you and I, we do the Alaska Airlines float every year. Every year. Kalani, yes. what are you looking forward to being this, with Alaska? Well, this, this is year? my first time doing the Pride Festival and being part of love. Love is love. Love conquers everything. And living on Maui, you know, I'm... I'm always gone touring, but I made sure that I reserved this whole week for us. I love yes. it. A lot of parties, a lot of festivities happening today. Rasha, what are you looking forward to this year? I am looking forward to everyone being out here, allies included, LGBTQ plus IA and everywhere in between. I and I, I'm looking forward to the Alaska Airlines Drag Brunch featuring Sasha Colby and yeah. Carrie Colby. <laughs> This is probably one of the most funnest quotes. You guys, I got Sa Rasha, I got Kalani. We're here at the Alaska Airlines float. Back to you guys. Happy Pride! Happy Pride! <laughs> Want to give a big mahalo to one of our sponsors, Kaiser Permanente, for all that is you. But of course, it's more than just Kaiser Permanente. We have many different sponsors who have come together to make this Honolulu Pride Parade a huge success. Kamaka, I am loving the energy out here. It is a vibe. 
too much energy for me to, to <laughs> actually to hold. <laughs> I've got to say, if you're watching this from home and you're enjoying it, I maybe consider next year to actually heading out to Waikiki to see it with your own two eyes. I know as a local, it may be a little humbug to make your way down to Waikiki, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. There's nothing but love, joy, and acceptance in the air, and it's just such a magnetic it energy is. out here. As I was mentioning previously, the other uh, parades that I am more familiar with, there is, I mean, it's great parades. I cannot say anything less than that. But for this one, there's just that electric energy. It really is the best way to put it. The spirit of aloha, the spirit of togetherness and equality. It is just infectious. And you know, I got to give a shout out to all of the people that are going down the parade in full dress and makeup let me tell you what it is not easy to wake up early in the morning to get yourself ready for this parade but they did it and they are everyone everyone is just looking absolutely fantastic look at this float kamaka i am loving this can you say festive <laughs> <laughs> oh hello I see some handsome men and some gorgeous ladies. Oh, thank ladies you. But what about these guys on the TV? <laughs> <laughs> we are, I believe, this is the Universal Show Queen pageant, possibly. Is it? Now this is possibly. quite an elaborate float. I am loving this. So tropical. You know, you. This you, theme is definitely island theme. Yep. And you know. Oh, yeah, I think Hawaiian Airlines is probably going to be getting a little bit of a competition with this float yes. coming up. Yes, look at this float. Oh, I can't wait to see them whiz on by. Let's see. It is so elaborate. Look at that. They've concocted palm trees. We have a Poseidon. The fronds look <laughs> so real. And they actually have water splashing under the wave. Oh, my oh, goodness. That's, that looks so good no. right now. They actually, they actually have a have water a fountain, fountain <laughs> on their float. Ah, their float is wow. called the Wave of Love. Yeah, I think oh, I got to yeah. say, uh, Hawaiian Airlines this. probably has a little bit of a competition going on. <laughs> and that looks like the Highgate Pride float. Loving it, loving it. That's probably the best float to be on with that water splashing. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's the Highgate Pride float. You know, as you were mentioning just the, the clothes that everybody's wearing and how hot it must be, earlier we missed it on TV, but there was an imperial court uh, that was led by two Kanaka or two Hawaiian men in their malo and their kihei, and they were chanting barefoot, walking Ooh. this whole route barefooted and wow. they're the only people who I've seen do that so far and I gotta say their nerve endings on the bottom of their feet must be burnt by this point <laughs> but one group after another and nothing less than just energetic and the spirits of togetherness I just can't help but smile Kamaka right. I think my cheeks hurt because I have just been smiling continuously for the last few hours you can't help but smile when you're seeing all this love and joy happening around you and all the colors. Right. And all just the different organizations. So I know we are starting to see come down the road. That looks like First Insurance Company of Hawaii. They call themselves allies and members of the LGBTQ community. And oh, then we no, also I'm see sorry, Macy's. That's Macy's. That's, That's right. A department store chain that offers a wide range of products, including clothing, accessories, jewelry, shoes, and home products. Ten locations in Hawaii and Guam at Kamakana Li'i, Ala Moana, Pearl Ridge, Guam, Ka'ahumanu Center on Maui, Kahala, Prince Kuhio, Kukui Grove, Waikiki, and Makalapua. At Macy's, they're on a mission to create a brighter future with bold representation for all. They call it Mission Everyone. We people, well, when people feel confident to own their story and pursue their dreams, they change the narrative for all. Kamaka, is this person in full? Oh, is that a mask or is that paint? Either way, I Either like way. it. Either way. Either way. Love in the energy. Love in the energy. All right, we're having fun. Kamaka and I are having so much fun in front of the Waikiki Beachcomber. But let's check in with Mikey Moniz. Let's see what he's up to. Mikey? No. 
All right, you guys, they were having so much fun. There's a lot of people happening, a lot of people hanging out. Hi, you guys, how are you doing? Hi. Are you having fun? Yup, I'm All right, All right. Tell, tell everybody out there at home, what's the vibe like today? Great. It's fun? It's great. Everybody's participating, good to see tourists, a lot of good positive energy. Uh, it's awesome. All right, you guys, if you want to be part of the positive energy, make your way down to Waikiki. There's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of things happening this weekend. I'm going to send it over to you guys. So we're gonna have you hold this one. Um, you should be up here. Yeah, we're gonna step up over here. They need to like. Good. All right, you're now looking at the Hawaiian Telecom contingent in the Pride Parade 2023, brought to you by Alaska Airlines, Outrigger, Waikiki Beachcomber, Nissan, and Kaiser Permanente. All kinds of businesses, community groups coming together, all very colorful, all very energetic, and I want to circle back to that float. Oh, that float. I know what you're talking I, about, the yeah. wave. Yeah, the wave. Tide with gates. With the water. Oh, oh my God. Man, I think, I think if there was a competition for the best <laughs> float, they definitely would be uh, in the running for sure. That should be something to yeah. consider next year. Maybe a little competition at the end. Who got, who got the best float out there? Yeah. But take a look at uh, Hawaii Telecom here. Four vehicles uh, larger than last year, they said. Oh, great. Yes, and they say that this group is made up of employees, friends, and families and spearheaded by members of their Pride Employee Resource Group. I love seeing organizations, private groups, schools, having specific groups dedicated to support the LGBTQ plus A community. Yeah, sir, certainly is um, the case this afternoon or this morning, and we're going to see more of that. But first, let's check in with Kamaka and Bridget on the parade route. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, Just. Yeah, so actually we have cannot put anything less than just energetic and fun and just aloha. You know, I'm here joined with Mark, who's part of the parade. Thank you very Hi. much. Oh my Mark. gosh, of course, yeah. Tell us a little bit about this. I mean, is this yeah. what you guys were envisioning or is this surpassing that, Mark? This is amazing. I mean, it's always nice to see the community come out. It's nice to see the allies come out to support. Um, I'm taking over the Honolulu Pride Instagram account today, documenting the parade, letting people that can't be here in Hawaii experience Honolulu Pride. And we are also raising money for Maui AIDS Foundation. So if you can, Hop on over to our Instagram, donate what you can to help out the people of Maui that really need our help and support right now. How long does this take to bring this all together? Oh my gosh, I feel like this takes, like, the team that brings this all together, like, is, is working on it. I feel like as soon as this pride ends, it's like, that's, all right, let's start on the next one. Yeah. That's what I assume. Yeah. So how, how, how long have you been doing this and have you seen this grow over those, over that Yeah, time? so when I was living in, uh, here in Hawaii, like, I, I don't remember pride being like this, so it's... It's been incredible to come back home throughout the years and see how much pride is growing here and seeing like just the community really like thrive. Yeah. So yeah. Where, where, where are you living now? I live in LA now. So yeah. how is it, because we were talking with Bridget, that yes. this type of event, I mean, it, it's blessed that we can do this. Not every place around the world right. is in this space. Right, right, right. So we're very blessed. But how is it what, traveling the world and the places yeah. that you also live? What's the comparison? Honolulu Pride always holds like a special place in my heart. It's, it's very unique. Um, not only because of the humidity, <laughs> but just the overall aloha spirit. Like, it's it's so special here. And then when you're walking down the parade route and you just, like, get to see Waikiki Beach, it's it's just, it's breathtaking, it's amazing. And just the overall energy and love here is, yeah, yeah so, unmatched. Thank you very much, of Mark, course, for putting this me. together and Happy for Pride. your time. Yeah. Happy Pride to you. With that, we'll toss it back to you guys, Justin and Max, Happy inside Pride. the studio, where it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kamaka, and thank you, Mark Kanemura. He's also the author of I Am a Rainbow. It's a children's book. It is beautiful. It is on my coffee table. I love it. So many celebrities coming out for the parade today. You might see more. You never know. We got a few surprises up our sleeves. But we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with a big shout-out before we go to break to our sponsors, Nissan, Kaiser Permanente, Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, and Alaska Airlines. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade, live from Waikiki. Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes us a walk in the park. 
Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low 369 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on the Rogue Platinum. Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. Welcome back to the Honolulu Pride Parade 2023. Bigger and louder and funner and more colorful than ever before. I'm here with my colleague Justin Cruz. I'm Max Rodriguez. It is a wonderful time to be here and to be alive. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, but if, when you just look at it, just take away everything but just look at the setting of this parade. Yes. Maybe other pride parades across the world might be larger perhaps. They might have their own unique characteristics. Nothing beats a parade right down Kalakaua Avenue on a sunny Hawaiian day with no rain. And of course, sunblock sales, I think, are gonna be <laughs> skyrocketing, not just for the parade, but you know, for the festivities yeah, afterwards. You, and you need it. Uh, Kamaka and Bridget saying that they don't even have a cloud inside, yeah. so I'm sure you need lots of SPF. And right now, we see Kaiser Permanente walking down on this Kalakaua Avenue 2023 Pride Parade. Kaiser Permanente is committed to providing high quality, affordable healthcare services to all the communities they serve. And they have an evidence-based approach to the practice of medicine, which leads to more effective and efficient care of their patients and members and better health outcomes. Kaiser, Kaiser Permanente, Hawaii is proud to support the LGBTQ plus community. And look at them, it's a pretty big group they have there too. And I gotta add on top of that, not only only do they support this cause uh, and this event, but they are also a major sponsor of this broadcast. It's companies like Kaiser, Nissan, Outrigger, Waikiki Beach, Koma Hotel, and Alaska Airlines that make it possible for those to see this internationally online at khon2.com and of course the live broadcast on K High right now and the eventual rebroadcast uh, tonight at 7 p.m on KHON2. Mahalo's big time to Kaiser Permanente. And also a uh, big mahalo for KHON and KHI for having this broadcast on. Yeah. That is so awesome. Not every, whole, uh, not every pride around the country gets this type of broadcast and reach to the community. So it is amazing to have the opportunity to be here and transmit it. And you don't even have to go. You could just watch it at home. That's Enjoy right. It. And I certainly, I think, reflect the thoughts of our crew here yes. at KHON2 and Next Star Broadcasting that we do support as much as we can uh, to the abilities that we can of the, of course, the LGBTQ community. And this is just one of many ways that we do to support. Speaking of that, we've got Living Extraordinary or Living 808 Extraordinary co-host Mikey Moniz. He's up to something. Let's check in with him. All right, everybody, we're back in the beginning of Waikiki, and we caught up with our friends from the Honolulu Museum of Art. Good to see you guys. How are you doing? Doing great, doing great. Great to see you again. Okay, brother, let's tell everybody about the vibe that you're feeling today. What is that like? And for those who's watching at home, describe it. What's it like in person? It's very colorful. There's lots of activity, lots of energy of everyone just walking through Kalakaua. Why do you think it's important that the Honolulu Museum of Art should be a part of Pride Parade? Well, we showcase the whole world, as well as bringing the world to Hawaii and Hawaii to the world, and this is just one aspect of everything. I love it. All right, you guys, these are friends from the Honolulu Museum of Art. Stay with us more from the Pride Parade in just a little bit. That's my buddy, Tori. I have a long, uh, good friendship with him that it, you know, goes decades. He's the guy that got me into cosplay, including Star Wars. <laughs> we both dress up as stormtroopers and uh, scout troopers, just a little fun, nerdy thing we do on the side. All right, uh, we are back and uh, up next, are we gonna, we're gonna check in 
or? I believe so. We're gonna go ahead and check in with some of our buddies in a bit uh, who are reporting and sharing some of the uh, happenings live on Kalakawa Avenue, Kamaka, and Bridge of Namada. But take a look, uh, look at this uh, group of folks. Again, that's what I've been saying. Just so many different ages and people coming, pets even. <laughs> I see some pugs. <laughs> oh my goodness. I saw some pugs a little bit earlier. That's one, one thing I do um, enjoy about this parade is that, you know, if you're an audience member live in person, you may not know who's coming up next. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's that group or it's this organization. And you know, it just, it blows your mind because not only are they here and present, they are here in force. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people, a lot of effort uh, to make this happen. So big shout out to the participants of the Pride Parade 2023. Big shout out indeed. It is such a, a large group of amazing people coming together uh, to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, but at this time, I wanna go ahead and check in with my friend and colleague, Bridget Namada, who is live down on Kalakawa Avenue. Hi, Bridget, how's it going? Happy Pride. Happy Pride, Max. I want to introduce you guys to Cece and Zhao with the Outrigger Beachcomber Hotel. I want to say thank you because we kind of took over their space today. So I truly appreciate, appreciate you guys uh, doing this for us. How are you guys liking Pride this year? Well, thank you so much for bringing the Honolulu Pride Parade right in front of the Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber. Again, it's so much fun and we're so excited to be a part of it. I want to ask Zhao, uh, Zhao why is it so important for Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber to be a part of the Honolulu Pride Parade? I think it's very, very important because everybody deserves a spotlight and this is our time to shine, right? So have fun. Outrigger is all about community and we want to make sure that we're involved in every single community within the um, Hawaii. You know, as I mentioned, I've been camped out here all morning, and if you haven't been to the Waikiki Beachcomber, guys, it is a vibe. I am loving it up there. Tell us about what people can expect if they want to head over here. Well, thank you so much. Um, like you mentioned, the Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber is all about Waikiki vibes. We're just a step away from the beach. Our guests are here to have fun and enjoy what we have here to offer in Waikiki. And we have parking, yes? Yes, parking is included. <laughs> Come on, it gets a discounted parking too. Everybody wants to know what about parking when it comes to Waikiki. And I have to ask you guys one more thing. Yeah. Did you guys, did you guys have a favorite float? What did you guys like about the parade? We love the Hawaiian airline float as always. Yeah, Ciao. Always, um, the Alaskan airline is always, you know, we always expect big, big, big things from um, Alaskan Airlines, so super awesome. Cece yeah. and Joe with Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, thank you so much. No, thank, thank, you, you, so thank much. you so much. We're having so much fun. The vibe here is electric. Let's send it back to you guys. Thank you so much, Bridget. Yes, what an amazing energy they have out there. And it's still going, and we've got much more to come when we continue on the 2023 Pride Parade live and direct in Honolulu, Waikiki. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade, live from Waikiki. On the street, you have pressed pills that look like oxycodone, that look like hydrocodone, but if a professional or someone on the street who's experienced looks at these pills, they can tell that they're pressed. So Narcan will give that unnecessary death the second chance of life. Nobody should die. Nobody should die from an overdose. There are places on this planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself. Where music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot. Where you're welcome with love, respect, and a soundtrack. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels, come be here. Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. Welcome back and happy Pride. The parade continues this 2023 Pride Parade and soon this afternoon festival as well because the celebration of love 
will continue all day long, Justin. In fact, if uh, you know these folks that are on the side of the road want to just continue to march with the uh, contingency down at Kapiolani Park, that's certainly welcome as we welcome the group from United Airlines on the parade route. Yes, uh, also a very important airline, right? Uh, folks here in Hawaii, we rely on them to go visit our families back in the mainland. So it's really awesome to see the various airlines showing their support and walking this parade and representing uh, their LGBTQ plus employees and making sure that it is a safe space for everyone there. That's right. Also, um, not only, I mean, a lot of, you know, Hawaii is tied uh, to the visitor industry and companies that support the visitor industry. So we thank, you know, the airlines as well as the hotels. As on deck, we see our friends from Sheraton and the Sheraton group uh, kind of walking through, waving those flags, smiling, and just greeting people on their way down Kalakaua Avenue. Now let's go back to Kamaka and Bridget see how things are going right in the middle of the parade route at the White Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel. Kamaka Bridget. Oh, sorry, Jess. I almost didn't hear you. We were too busy dancing and enjoying ourselves out here. Yeah, we're having a lot more fun than you guys are inside a nice, cool AC studio. I got to say, Kamaka, I am just loving the vibe. I am loving the energy out here. You see nothing but big smiles. The costumes are elaborate. The energy is infectious. The screams are loud. The love is real. It's so fun to it, see how people really are decorating is. for the float, the, their floats, seeing what they're wearing, hearing all the chi I, I, I think there are going to be a lot of people with lost voices <laughs> after the time that this, this parade comes to a close. And this parade is not the only part of no. Pride. There are so many activities. This Pride Parade, it culminates at the very end with a festival at the Waikiki Shell. Yes, I'm going to have to go down there and check out what's going on. But even just throughout Waikiki, all the different uh, stores and and uh, tenants across the Kalakaua Avenue are having their own individual celebrations as well. So even though that this may be wrapping up in just a little bit, the celebration, of course, will continue. The aloha spirit is magnified at least 10 times out here, Kamaka. You know, I'm going to do a little selfish plug, but not really because it's with KHON. But Aloha Authentic, we had actually done an episode on Mahu. So if there's any people who are interested to find out a little bit more and educate themselves in a comfortable setting, feel free to go to ktrin2.com and click on the Aloha Authentic tab and then just scroll through and you'll eventually come across our episode on Mahu, which is very, very educational. And I think all of that is what's being celebrated today. And we're looking at the friends and family of the Marriott. That's the Marriott Beach, Waikiki Beach Resort. We're having so much fun out here. And Kamaka, if you're doing a shameless plug, I might as well say, don't forget to tune in to KHON2 News, the evening newscast. Oh, yes, I hear music coming out of this yellow truck. And you may need to turn your volumes down for just a little bit. Good thing the camera's not on us, Kamaka. <laughs> we are jamming it out. I'm getting my workout in, guys. It's my steps. Yes. But you know, it is unfortunate, but. Even though despite that we are coming to a close, I do have to reiterate just the amount of floats uh -huh. and participants in this parade, making this such a success. And we're speaking with Mark a little earlier, just saying that this is probably the biggest and the best parade Honolulu Pride thus far. Oh, absolutely. You can tell there's a lot of work and effort behind this, behind the scenes to make the Honolulu Pride Parade 2023 happen. Right now you're looking at American Savings Bank coming down Kalakaua Avenue. Oh, and we start to see our very own Sasha Colby. Oh, there goes she season make 15 her winner, the Grand Marshal. I can't wait to see what she looks like, Kamaka. So for those who are maybe at home this year watching this live on TV, thank you very much for tuning in. But this hopefully will inspire you to come down and be part of the festivities next year. And I'm pretty sure the moment this comes to a close, they're already starting to plan for the next oh, one. Oh, Kamaka, look at that beauty. <gasps> that dress. Okay, girl. But so, let's send it over to Mikey. Mikey, how's it going over there? 
Hey Bridget, hey Kamaka, it's going really well actually. This is the end of the parade and Miss Sasha Kobe is home, the Grand Marshal. She's actually right over there saying hi to everybody. Again, this today was amazing. The vibes were really high and the energetic is just unlike any other. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm gonna send it back over to you guys. Thank you very much, Mikey. Also, big uh, mahalos to Kamaka Pili and uh, Bridget. I know that, um, well, I know it's a hot day, but in more ways than one. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, they, they did a fantastic job just giving us a lay of the land uh, on this parade. Yep. And of course, to end it with the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation float with our Grand Marshal. Absolutely, our Grand Marshal, Sasha Kobe, and she will be our festival headliner this evening as well. Uh, as she calls herself, she is mother, and mother is mothering today. She is with her daughter, Carrie Kobe. They are, oh. uh, yes, it's a great drag family. So yeah. that's part of our homecoming theme. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of a family reunion, and a what a better place to do it than to bring Sasha Kobe home and she gets to celebrate with all of her family. She gets to celebrate with her friends in the community. And even watching right now, uh, it gave me just chills. I could just feel the energy through the screen, uh, the excitement and just the smile that you could see on Sasha's face. Look at her. She is just owning that stage, owning this parade. I am in awe. That's why she is the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> season 15. All right, we're going to take a quick break and wrap things up. It's a 2023 Pride Parade live from Waikiki, brought to you by our friends over at Nissan, Kaiser Permanente, Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, and Alaska Airlines. We'll be right back with more of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade, live from Waikiki. I am medical director for Transgender Services. I get the opportunity to take care of some of our most vulnerable patient populations, including our LGBTQ communities, and offer them compassionate, culturally responsive care delivery that is consistent with the values of Kaiser Permanente. And for me, to be able to help someone achieve their most authentic self, to be able to um, live their most healthy life, is the best part of my job. There are places on this planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself. Where music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot. Where you're welcome with love, respect, and a soundtrack. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels. Come be here. Live from Waikiki, welcome back to the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade. Welcome back to the live broadcast of the 2023 Pride Parade on KHI and also on KHON2.com to be rebroadcast. Or, uh, yeah, KHON2.com to rebroadcast tonight on KHON2. Um, I've been part of the MC duties for Pride uh, this is my third year now, Max, and you are a board member for the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. Congratulations on your new role in that. Thank you. And bravo to you and your crew for doing a fantastic job putting this together. Thank you so much, Justin. It means a lot to be here, being able, because as you all may know at home, I'm also a news reporter here at KHON2 News, so I'm playing a little bit of double duty. I'm here back at home my every day, but I'm also <laughs> representing my new family, the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, and it's just been such a blessing and uh, such a hard work, and I want to really especially give a shout out to the volunteers. Absolutely. Uh, you know, these volunteers, uh, they just don't ask questions, they just do. They ask, what can we do? What can we help and no complaints they show up at four in the morning ready to go and help support it is such an amazing endeavor it really does take a community it takes partnership with businesses partnership with a tv station like khon to news in order to make a broadcast like this happen and so many folks behind the scenes putting in hours and hours of work it is just an amazing endeavor and as you can see here uh, you're seeing some footage of 
the area that was where we started from earlier at Ala Moana Beach Park. That, of course, has now been uh, reopened, you know, for <laughs> regular beach swimming and good fun. But the party does continue afterwards at Kapiolani Park. Yes, absolutely. The Waikiki Shell. The festival starts at 1 p.m. Bring in a full appetite. So many local vendors are going to be there for you to have a good meal, good grub, as you get good entertainment as well. Sasha Kobe, our uh, Grand Marshal, headlining today. So this is not the last that you'll see of her today. When are you going to fit some sleep time? <laughs> I mean, not just you, the, the volunteers. I know I'm going to take a nap after this. But for you, it's go, go, go all weekend. It's go, go, go. But you know what? There's always tomorrow. It's all good. That's we are right. having a great time. And it's been an amazing pride. All right, looking forward to the next year, but this year, it's a wrap. 2023 Pride Parade, thank you for all that are involved. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast, and we'll see you next year. Thank Aloha. you so much. Happy Pride. Aloha. The Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation 2023 Pride Parade was brought to you by Alaska Airlines, the premier airline of pride, and Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, home of the 2023 Honolulu Pride Parade broadcast.